Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today I'm here in Pony Town because I'm going to be sharing some things that you can do in Pony Town. I've seen these comments all the time ever since I first joined Pony Town all the way up till now I see comments all the time either in game or in comments of videos or in discord servers or wherever basically saying Pony Town is boring because all you can do is walk around and chat with other players. But I'm here to tell you that there is plenty more that you can do because there is of course the part of island. Uh, that's where I am right now that's why why everything looks weird and why you can't normally find this yourself but this is the party island you have full customization of this island you can do literally anything on this island that you want and i personally think it opens up so many opportunities to create your own board games in pointy town as well as to create all kinds of new little mini games for you to play uh, of course these all have to be player curated or whatever because there's no way to sort of create these systems and have it be automated for certain things and stuff like that but there's plenty of games that you can create in pointy town the limit really is more or less the uh, your imagination. Like that's pretty much the limit of what you can do here. And of course, uh, as I showed here, uh, this is my island. Literally everything here is a different board game uh, or a different game from this weird shape that I'm standing on to these weird rainbow thing over here to this weird square here to this all this stuff everything even these tables way over here that's that's battleship <laughs> uh, i i can i can explain that in a future video if you want to but uh today i want to go over certain uh ideas for you to do that don't really require a lot of customization and some of them do require customization but first off uh let's talk about simon says because simon says is actually something that you can play in pointing town technically uh it's actually extremely simple i may have i may have even shared this in an old video somewhere and and stuff like that but i don't ever see anyone advertising that game at docs or anything like that normally you see something like hide and seek or um four corners or some other game like mafia which is lame or whatever but i don't ever see anyone advertising simon says which is weird because that's actually an extremely simple game that requires basically nothing to play. Literally all you have to do is type in something like Simon says and then a command like Simon says eat a banana and then everyone else that you're playing with has to go eat a banana. They have to do the thing. And then of course you can try to trip them up by randomly saying something like eat an apple and then if they eat the apple obviously they lose because Simon didn't tell them to eat an apple. Uh, so that's pretty much how Simon Says work. I don't know why I sat there and explained how Simon Says works, but that's how Simon Says works. Uh, you can do um, something similar to this where you literally just say, hey, copy everything that I do, and then you just do very specific things and hope that you can trip up the other players or something. But Simon Says is a very simple thing that you can do in Ponytown, and I kind of hope to see that more in Ponytown. I hope to see people advertise stuff like that at docks or something, because I've never seen anyone play this in Ponytown. And you don't even need your party island for this. You can literally just go to the main island with your party and just say Simon Says in the uh, the party chat or whatever and uh, have all your friends do as you say. <laughs> it's it's weird, but it's it's a very simple thing. The next mini game that we have on my list here is a very simple one. It, you don't have to, well, you can't do this on your party island at all. You have to be on the main island. Uh, first off, be very, very, very weary of uh, Twilight's. <laughs> <laughs> recognizing you and then uh from there on <laughs> so this next mini game you don't have to be on your party island in fact you have to be on the main island you can't do this on your party island because of the way that the game works now uh throughout the map there are things like these mushrooms uh there's also flowers during certain seasons and all this other stuff the way this game works is simply have you and another player, maybe two, three, four, however many you want. Uh, try not to get too many because if you get too many, then the game is going to be extremely difficult and you might run into issues and stuff like that. But get maybe around four players and have them surround a mushroom or have them surround uh, some kind of flower or something like that. Uh, and then do a three, two, one countdown and then say go. And then whoever can grab that mushroom first will be the winner. They will win that round. And then uh, you eat the, the eat the mushroom, that's your reward or whatever. And as you see, these mushrooms do eventually grow back. And after you said go, Every single time the, the flower or the mushroom or whatever it is grows back, you have to be the first one to grab it. If you're the first one to grab it after it respawns completely, then you win the second round. And then uh, you do that again and again and again over and over and over again until you finally have, you know, gotten however many rounds you want to do. Maybe you want to do like 10 rounds or something. Maybe you want to do four rounds, three rounds. I don't know. But basically you say three, two, one, go. And then you have to wait for the flower to respawn and be the first one to grab it. It's extremely simple and 
I've never seen anyone play this before, and I'm surprised that I haven't seen anyone play around with this mechanic because it's actually an extremely simple mechanic. Uh, you can do certain things like this. You can technically use this as a timer. The only problem is you can't do this on your party island because on your party island, if you pick up the mushroom, it doesn't disappear. It just uh, stays there even though you've picked it up. Uh, you can do this with lanterns that are all over the map. Anything that you can pick up on the main map uh, will eventually respawn there. And essentially the idea is you have to be the first one to grab it uh, versus the other players. It's extremely simple and a lot of fun. Get some friends, go to the main island, find a little spot somewhere and do this. So this next mini game basically has to do with um, the give mechanic. Now you can do this on your party island or whatever like that, but technically you would need to do this on the main island because you need to do this to random players. Essentially you find a player such as this player here and you and the other people that are uh, in your party or whatever like that that are playing the game will line up. Um, this person thinks I'm Shrek for some reason. This video is just all over the place with people recognizing me and saying weird shit, isn't it? <laughs> but essentially you and your friends line up in front of someone and you take turns giving an item to a player. For example, I have a mushroom. I'm going to try to give this item to Taffy. You can do that by clicking on them, clicking the card in the top left and then give item. Uh, that will send a request and they have to either accept it or reject it or uh, the, the thing will time out. They rejected the item, which means I would have lost here. But let's say they accepted my item. Uh, let's pretend that they accepted my item and then that means the player that was behind me has to give the, a, a different item or well it has to be a different item because it's weird otherwise but you have to give them a different item and then you're next in line you give them the item uh, and then if they accept it then the third person in line has to give them an item and if they accept it then the first person in line has to give them an item and so on and so on and so on um, uh, until someone is rejected once your item is rejected that means you lose and the round is over and you find a new player to to do this with you have to be really careful playing this game obviously because some people do not want to be disturbed as you saw there my item was just immediately rejected um thank you to this purgatory person who recognized me i guess um but uh <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to my island. So obviously you have to be very careful playing that last mini game there because uh, as you saw uh, there I, I was rejected immediately so uh, that means the game would just not work there. You just have to find another player and then start all over. Um, and of course some people just do not want to be disturbed. So just be careful playing that one. Uh, it does seem like it would be a lot of fun. I haven't successfully played the game yet so <laughs> I can't really say for sure. Um, I did try to do this with the DK once but um, we ended up doing other stuff instead. But uh, it's it's an interesting game and it's a very simple thing that you can do. You don't even need your party island for this but this next game you will need your party island for and you will need to customize it because the next game here is will it fit i guess i don't really know what you would call it um it's i don't have a name for it i guess but essentially all it is is you create this square just how i have here or you can make a circle you can literally make any shape that you want and then you and your friends take turns placing an item within the square uh so for example uh maybe i want to start with this chair or something like that now it has to be within the square if it if it clips outside this square even slightly like uh for example like this so it's like two pixels over or whatever like that even if it's even though it's clipping very slightly that means I failed and that means I've lost. Essentially the way that this game works is you take turns uh, having players place an item somewhere in the square. Um, it can be literally any item in the game as long as it fits within the square. So uh, these banners, why not? Um, you also cannot touch another item. So for example, uh, if I was to do something a bit like this, this banner is actually touching this table, which means I have failed again. You have to be extremely careful about how you play this game. Uh, there's technically some strategy involved uh, and all kinds of other interesting uh, ways that you can go about playing this game. For example, maybe you want to start with like one of the largest items in the game, which is like the party boat or something like that. It's a pretty massive item. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't actually even fit in the square. <laughs> It doesn't even actually fit in the square, but uh, finding something that will fit in the square that's really, really, really massive uh, is a huge buff or a huge bonus because that means the player that's going to go after you is going to have a hard time placing an object. Uh, so have fun with that, I guess. I mean, it's an extremely simple game. Literally, all you have to do is make a square. You can make the square as big as you want, as small as you want, and have players take turns placing an item somewhere in that square. And whoever goes outside the boundary first or whoever... Uh, clips onto another object first loses and uh everyone else wins or you can do that until everyone is lost until one person's left or something like that uh it's extremely simple and it's a lot of fun uh so take it that way you will and let's move on to the next game because now that it's night we can actually successfully properly move on to the next next game because wait, it requires the firefly lanterns Psst, i'm gonna steal your firefly lantern okay thanks goodbye
nearby. So this next game is actually extremely simple and easy to play and set up. You don't even need your party island. I mean, I guess technically you do, but you don't have to do any kind of customization on your island or anything like that. Uh, all you have to do is get a Firefly Lantern. Uh, you need a bunch, every every player needs an empty one, uh, and then you have to go to the main island. You can only play this at night because you can only collect fireflies at night because obviously fireflies are only there at night. But essentially, uh, everyone gets an empty firefly lantern, uh, as I have here. Uh, obviously, if you have a full one, you can just release them like that or whatever. And everyone gets an empty one like this. You say one, two, three, go, and then everyone leaves the island uh, except one person because there needs to be one person that can sort of judge or whatever. Um, and then everyone runs out into the main island. They have to. Fi find a firefly immediately it's it's literally a firefly race a fire firefly race it's literally a firefly fi fire it's it's literally a lightning bug race <laughs> here's one right here i got it let's grab it really quickly and get back to the island uh and then you can do as simple as just one thing and then boom we're done i won because i was the first one to come back with a firefly or you can do it in as a scoring system where once i get here i release the firefly so that the player that's here the judge so to speak can be like okay that person has one point they can tally it up uh by using like a shovel and and placing tiles or placing some of these cushion seats or something like that everyone being assigned a color or something um they can also write it down on paper outside the game or something they can say it in party chat there's literally a million ways that you can keep scoring the game but uh, those are a few so essentially you can do it like that where it's a scoring system and now that that person's come back with a firefly lantern and released the firefly they have to run back to the island and get another one so that they can score a second point and so on and so on and so on you can go to a score limit or you can do a time limit for example uh, i personally think that a a, a a time limit would probably be pretty fun because you can literally just have it to where hey once it's day and fireflies aren't spawning anymore uh then the game is over uh, or something like that so there i go i released a second one that would be my second point and then of course i can leave again and uh, i thought i saw one over here a minute ago maybe i can catch it before it before it's too gone i think it's I think it's too far gone no there it is right there boom there's there's a third one but i haven't scored yet i still have to get back to the, the party island to score it or whatever come on let's go let's go let's go let's go and this could be a lot of fun because obviously other people would be competing with me. Other people might pick up the firefly that I'm about to pick up. Uh, strangers could pick up the firefly that I'm about to pick up and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's as simple as that. Literally all you have to do is do a firefly race. It's a lot of fun uh, and I hope to see people advertising stuff like this in the future at Docs. Uh, and uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for the video. There's not really anything else uh, that I have here for you today. Uh, of course, I have games like what I'm standing on right now, and then uh, there's other games like uh, this weird symbol over here, this weird pattern here, all that other stuff, but I think I'll save that for a future video. If you guys want to know about any of these games that are on this game island here, then let me know in the comments below. I have already made videos on some of them already, so... Uh, if you do if you do ask about one of them, then I can probably just link you to that video in the comments and so on and so on. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video useful. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. That's that's it. That's that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, stay wonderful.